When you think of space, you might think of things like planets and galaxies. But many of us have thought about whether or not life exists out there in the vastness of space. It's a question that's been asked time and time again. Are we alone in the universe? NASA scientists have said there's over 100 billion planets in the Milky Way galaxy alone, and there's hundreds of millions of galaxies, all teeming with millions or billions of planets. This makes the likelihood of there being life in our universe very high. This is why NASA and other space agencies are now making it their goal to visit various systems in the hopes of finding life. It's likely it will happen. The question is when and how long will it take? For all we know, there could be life only a couple of million miles away, and when you're talking about space, billions of miles is a very small distance. However, there's some people who have captured interesting photos throughout the years, and say that these help prove that we're not alone in the universe. One of my subscribers sent me this photograph, and said that it was taken alongside the International Space Station. They managed to quickly snap a photograph of the strange object, but couldn't explain what it was. At first they speculated that it may have been a satellite, but then thought it was likely too close to be one. I shared this image to a few groups to get their opinions. Some said the object in question doesn't look like a piece of space junk, going on to say it has sharp edges and even looks to be in the shape of a triangle. Others carried on from this and said that it's either producing light, or lights bouncing off the object which allows us to see it, also stating that it's too detailed to be a random piece of space debris. What's interesting about these types of photographs is that there's many like this. UFO researchers have been vocal about the fact that the International Space Station is actually a hotspot for UFO activity, and that every year many strange objects can be seen around the space station cameras. Sometimes these objects around the cameras are not seen for long, as they can be seen making a quick exit, while others can be seen zipping past at extremely high speeds. Skeptics who have seen these types of images suggest that what people are seeing is just space debris, and sometimes they can take on different forms that make them look like UFOs, further saying that there's thousands of pieces of space debris above our planet, and it's likely that that's what people are seeing. Those who have watched the live cams and have studied these images though have said this isn't what people are seeing, pointing out that when these objects come within the live cams view NASA shuts off the feed. They asked that if these were just space debris then why do the cameras always shut off when they come into view? This has happened on a number of occasions, with UFO researchers saying that it proves that something is going on that NASA doesn't want us to know about. In the past, news stations have tried to reach out to NASA to get an answer for what they think these objects are, but 99% of the time they fail to give an answer. Skeptics have also said that people don't understand that a lot of events happen above our planet, with one of the most common ones being that of meteorites entering our atmosphere. They've said that people who aren't used to this site will confuse this with things like UFOs when in reality what they're witnessing is something that happens all the time. Well, one believer said the following, This is one of the problems we're facing when it comes to things like UFOs being seen close to the International Space Station. People are so quick to deny it. I think at this point we all need to understand that it's obvious that something is going on. I'm not saying that every one of these things is an unidentified flying object, but to say that every single one can be explained away as space debris is just ignorant. It's clear that government officials are interested in the UFO phenomena, as declassified documents show us that they've been researching these things for several decades, and when they close down one of these projects that's been assigned to UFOs, they usually open up another one soon after. It's clear that there's something we're not being told about when it comes to the subject of UFOs. The more we deny it, the more we dig ourselves a hole, and the harder it will be to open our minds to things we don't understand. For the past five years, government officials have been dropping hints that they know about these crimes. I hope that there will be an announcement soon, and that we can all start moving forward.
End quote. Right now, there's still people that believe these objects are not natural, and that some photographs show what looks like crafts under intelligent control. In some cases, people have reported that these objects will suddenly cover a vast distance in a matter of seconds, or that they've witnessed these crafts making a 360-degree turn and then shoot away. They say that we don't have the technology to be able to do this, and it's one of the reasons why they think something is going on. Although it's easy to dismiss some of these claims, it's important to have an open mind about these objects and the subject in general. When it comes to the universe, we are monumentally small and inconsequential. There's quadrillions of planets scattered all throughout the universe, and all you need is one of them to be 100,000 years ahead of us, and potentially you'd have a civilization 100,000 years more advanced. Think how much we've achieved in the last 100 years alone. So is it really out there to think that an advanced civilization could exist somewhere in the universe? So what do you make of these interesting objects that have been seen close to the International Space Station? Do you believe they're just space debris that's giving off the illusion that something is there? Or do you think they're UFOs? Also, why do you think NASA shuts down the live feed when one of these objects appear? I'm interested to hear your theories, so be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you.